Hey guys and welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to create a drop down list menu with Elementor. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. All right, so we have this example page over here and I created a drop down list with a question what's your favorite WordPress plugin? And just below it we have three different sections with screenshots to each of the plugins. So for example, if you'll choose WooCommerce, it will scroll you down to the WooCommerce section. If you choose Yoast, it will scroll you to Yoast, etc. So we added uh, HTML and JavaScript to create reaction whenever you select an option. So here is the HTML structure. You can find it in the written blog post. You have the link in the description box down below. And the drop list is assembled by two components. The first one is the label, which is the question, what is your favorite WordPress plugin? And the second one is the select box with nested options, when each of the options represent an answer or an option from the drop down list. Well, obviously you will change the content of this box along with the attributes, but just make sure that the for attribute of the label and the name attribute of the select tag are matching each other. So this one need to match this one. It doesn't have to match the ID, but for better practice, I recommend you to keep these three attributes matching to each other with the same exact name. For this purpose, you can just copy it as is and then we can move on to your Elementor editor screen. Here we will add a new section just below the page title and we will drag the HTML widget into it. So we will look for HTML and we'll drag it into the new section. And here we will paste the code that we just copied from the blog post. And you can see that automatically it's render this box with a question and all the three options. Now, if you only want to display a list uh, without scrolling to the section or without showing or hiding sections, you are done, you are good to go. However, if you would like to add some JavaScript so the browser will scroll to the selected section, I'm going to pause the video right now and I will add these three sections. All right, so I added three sections to match the different options. I added Elementor, WooCommerce, and Yoast. And these are just screenshots, nothing uh, too complicated, just an uh, image widget with a screenshot. Uh, we'll go back to the written blog post and the first JavaScript code will wait for the visitor to make a selection. For example, our visitor will select WooCommerce. And then it will scroll down to the WooCommerce section. Now pay attention that here at the label, each of the options have a value. So the WooCommerce value is Woo plugin. As you can see it over here inside the value attribute. So in order for the JavaScript code to work, we will need to take each of the values and assign them to the correct section. So let's start with WooCommerce, for example. We'll copy the value and we'll paste it as ID inside the advanced tab over here. Then we'll click on the list again and we'll copy uh, the Elementor value which is Elementor-plugin and we'll need to assign it to this image or this section it doesn't really matter inside the ID of course and the last will go to Yoast value inside the option and we'll copy the SEO-plugin exactly as is and we will assign it to the section of Yoast as an ID, just like so. Now we'll click on update. Then we'll go to Elementor custom codes and we'll click on add new to add a new code. If you don't have the pro version of Elementor, I will leave you a link to a video how to use JavaScript with Elementor if you don't have the pro version. But for now, let's just give it a, the new code a name, add JavaScript to drop down menu and we'll paste the JavaScript code over here. Click on publish and choose whether to execute it on the entire site or just specific pages. I will keep it on the entire site. Let's visit the live page by going to the visit page option 
and let's test it. We'll choose one of the options from the drop down menu and we can see that it scrolls us down to the assign section, as you can see, which is great. Now, this is one option that we can do with the JavaScript. Another option that we can do is to hide these three options, these three sections, and only display the selected value. Okay, this is also very cool. Uh, we can copy the JavaScript code from the written blog post. Uh, this time we will need to add an extra step. It's really not a big deal. First of all, let's copy it and paste it over here instead of the first JavaScript. And we'll click on publish. And this code will hide all the sections with this class. Hide on page load. So let's copy this class. And now we'll go into the sections that we would like to hide. And we'll enter it as a class just below where we enter the CSS ID over here. The same class can go to all three sections. So let's move on to the second section and enter it as a class again just below where we enter the ID. And let's move on to the Yoast section and we'll do the same. We'll enter it over here. And we can test it. We'll refresh the page and we can't see any of the sections. However, when we we'll choose one, it will appear just like so. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.